Daily Devotional, April 5. This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Not my will, but thy will be done in my life and affairs, Lord. I remember a saying I learned at school as a child that said, any port in a storm. I quite liked it back then because I could understand the practicality of a ship docking at any port in poor weather. Some storms are mild and can even be navigated through with little or no damage done. Others are violent and untamable, with gale force winds that have the power to rip the best made ships to pieces, blowing them off course and dashing them against rocks grounding them on reefs. Today, after many years, I thought of that saying again, but I have since revised my thoughts about it. Not any port in a storm for me, for my ship must be anchored to the rock, my rock of ages, Jesus. I refuse to anchor my ship to just any port that gives the appearance of shelter, rest, and comfort, when in reality, upon closer inspection, it is nothing but sinking sand. My Saviour paid too much of a high price for me to put my trust in things that are fleeting and built on lies with no foundation. No matter how gusty the winds and how high the waves, I have a Saviour who got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Hallelujah. That same Saviour said to 6,000 demons, also known as Legion, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. And being subject to his authority, they asked permission to be cast into 2,000 swine which ran into the sea and were drowned. Hallelujah. On yet another occasion, this same man Jesus, Savior of the world, spoke to an unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. The spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. With these accounts, why would I want to dock my ship in any port when facing the storms of life? Knowing that my Redeemer lives, I will always dock at his port. I will call to him. He will give me rest, remove the burden, destroy the yoke, move the mountain and calm the seas. Jesus, what a wonder you are. Thank you. I magnify you. I magnify your name, be lifted high, Amen.